Hello, everyone. I'm Francis Collins. I'm the director of the National Institutes of Health, and I'm delighted to be here with Jack Andreka. So I'm Jack Andreka. I'm a sophomore, and I won the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. So how, how did you come up with a project, and what was that project? Essentially, what I've created was a new way to detect pancreatic ovarian and lung cancer that costs three cents, and it takes five minutes to run. And it's 100% accurate so far in clinical studies. And then also, it can detect the cancer in the earliest stages, when someone has close to 100% chance of survival. Clearly, you had to do a lot of searching then through yeah. science, what mm -hmm. people had worked on, what experiments they'd done, what publications were there. So you were sitting at your computer, or were you going to a library? How did, how did you get access? How I got access was with Google. Essentially, I would just Google like some keywords, then go to a publication, and then sometimes it wasn't really about the content of the publication, it's more about the references in it. Yeah. And I would look at all of those and look through those. But that was actually really hard because I hit a lot of paywalls. Like you have to pay $40 per article. And unfortunately, I couldn't like shell out a lot of that. So mm -hmm. instead, I would have to like kind of cheat and copy the article title back into Google and then look for PDF versions. And a lot of the times, I actually found them on the NIH PubMed site. So. Uh -huh. So you used PubMed a fair amount. Oh yes, here. I spent hours on PubMed. <laughs> Were there some things you couldn't even get to even with your workaround? Were there things that weren't in PubMed? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. There was a lot of articles that the abstracts weren't even published for. And so what would be a lot better is if we would be able to have all these access. And that's really important because I'm not a unique case. There are millions of people like me. Yes. And so if you can just go on Google and Wikipedia and find these amazing articles, we could have this great innovation, but these paywalls are stopping us. I agree with you. So NIH has tried to sort of take a lead in this situation. And now I gather PubMed uh, gets about 830,000 people hitting on it every day wow. and downloading from PubMed about 1.6 million articles, not just the abstract, but the whole article. Wow telling you how much interest there is out there uh, to use yeah. this information. At the moment, uh, we have a deal that anybody who's funded by NIH who publishes a paper, that paper has to be available in 12 months mm -hmm. okay. uh, so that anybody can see it. I think the goal we all want to see is that this is really purely open access. Mm -hmm. There are some challenges in getting there, and not everybody agrees uh, about this. Not every funding agency across the world has followed our lead, mm -hmm. but it's making such a difference. So what do you think about Obama's new executive order on open access? I think it's great. I think the president, by making this a real priority at the highest level of the administration, is saying this matters. He's very much into science, our president. <laughs> Clearly, if anybody cares about science, the idea of having open access is going to be crucial to the future. So for him to say, OK, this needs to be done across government, not just here and there, is a very uh, signal moment. This is basically crowdsourcing science. <laughs> Yeah. And that's a really powerful concept. The idea that we can make progress in sort of a closed shop. Yeah, we make progress that way. But to open that up to the vastness of human creativity and inspiration by open access, that's how we're going to really turbocharge this effort to come up with answers. So open access is kind of like opening the playing field from only like maybe a few hundred thousand people to millions and millions of people almost to do the research. Essentially. Maybe even billions. Maybe the whole world. That's super exciting.